How's it going, folks? Uh, welcome to the first video of my streaming device setup series. In this video, we're going to be covering the installation and setting up of your Amazon Fire Stick. Now, keep in mind, most of these devices are pretty much all the same um, when it comes to setting them up and things of that nature. But before we do that, we're going to get into the basic things you're going to need to be able to stream content. Now, right here, we have an internet modem. Now, the internet modem comes first. It comes before the router. Internet is the internet modem is what is supplied to you by your cable company. So most likely your technician is going to come in. He's going to set it up. And nowadays, um, cable modems don't come with Wi-Fi, or the companies may charge an extra ten dollars a month. So you know, depending on your situation, I will say go out and research your uh, and buy your own Wi-Fi router. That way, you don't have to pay. Uh, the monthly fee for it. Now, if you're dealing with Wi-Fi, which most of us are when it comes to streaming, um, whatever router you purchase, or if the cable technician um, hooks you up with Wi-Fi, somewhere on that modem or router, let me show you this, it's going to be your password and your pass key. So, taking a look at the bottom of my Netgear router, um, I have since changed that. I always change my my passwords, but that's the that's the router. But on your modem, you know, just look around for a sticker that's similar to this. And it's just, especially if you have AT and T, they pretty good about putting your password on the um, on your modem. So you're gonna see something like this, very similar, um, which allow you to access your wireless network. So that's the first and most important thing you're going to need. So next up, we're going to be taking a look at the Fire Stick itself. All right, folks, so looking at the Fire Stick. And also, be sure to write down your, your network name and your, your, your password or have somebody you know if, you, if your vision is not good uh, to write down everything for you. Because you're going to need a handy uh, before you can start streaming content. So looking at the Fire Stick, uh, what comes with the Fire Stick? You have the Fire Stick itself. As you can see, it's a very small device. It's actually smaller than the remote control. Um, this is your US, This is your HDMI. That's your video output, and then this is your your power, your micro USB power source. Um, then right here we have an HDMI extender, which is very important. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, once we get our television up here and of course you have your remote control which the fire stick comes with batteries then we have our micro USB cable and we have our USB adapter so let's go ahead and get a television up here and then I'm going to show you guys how to set this up alright folks this is the back of our TV and um, if you've never seen the back of a TV, it's a lot of stuff going on back here. It can be overwhelming, but the main thing you want to find is your HDMI output. Now, this is a small portable television, so it only has one HDMI output. So, if you can um, identify the port you're going to be using, and make sure you remember that, because w later on when we turn the television on, you're going to turn your TV to that source. Taking our fire stick now what I like about the fire stick is it comes with this extender and just what I said I was going to get to earlier um, most TVs have all these curves on them so you may not be able to get a fire stick in at the right angle as we can see right here this lip right here is blocking us if our HDMI port was right there but again this one is on the side and still we can't get our fire stick in there straight enough without potentially potent, potentially um, damaging it. As you can see I'm hitting that bump right there. So in most cases it's going to be better to use your extender and the extender all you do is line them up like a puzzle, stick it in and then you identify your the port you want to use and you go ahead and stick that in. And then you have a lot of flexibility. So the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is our power source. Now with the Fire Stick you have a few options. You have two options. You can either 
go through a micro uh, a USB adapter, which in my my opinion just makes more wires because you're gonna have to run this down into a power outlet, or if you have a power outlet behind the TV, I mean it's just more cables. Now most flat screen TVs have what they call a service port. Now these service ports, you see it right there, usually output enough power to power up a fire stick. So that is a USB service port. So what I and what most people do is they run their micro USB from their fire stick. And I just want to show you guys this if you're not familiar with this process. So you see that, and what you do, I mean, this is pretty much a, a Android phone charger. So the one that comes with the Fire Stick is super long. It's like four, three or four feet. Um, just grab your short one and use that, or just, you know, wrap it up. You know, I'm, I'm all about neatness, so I just grabbed the short one. So you want to plug that into there. And the other end, you know, just get it back on there. It's kind of tight here with this camera right here. But... You're going to take your USB port and make sure you have it facing the right direction. As you can see, our white part on the TV is at the top. So we're going to uh, turn this. Let's see here. Can be kind of, kind of tight back there. So once you get that in, you should be good to go. So next, what we're going to do is, I mean, just put this in a drawer and save it for later, you know, um, just in case you might need it. But next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your fired TV. All right, folks, so if your television doesn't automatically turn to the correct input, what you're going to do is take your TV remote and not the Fire Stick remote, so matching up with the RCA RCA television and you're going to find a button that's either labeled source or input input or source press that button point at the TV and then you're going to go down to the correct source that you selected on the back of your TV so we are HDMI and there you go alright folks so the next step in setting up your Amazon Fire Stick is identifying your wireless network and entering in your password. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, now the Fire Stick, for those of you who are interested, the Fire Stick does not connect to 5G networks, only 2.4 or 2 gigahertz. So, uh, and if you enter your password and you're looking for to capitalize, you have your shortcut keys right here. Uh, just a, a quick tip for anybody out there that's interested. Once you're connected to your wireless network, you're going to have to either log into your existing Amazon account or you're going to have to create a new one. All right, so once you get registered or log in, you should see, you should see something similar to this. And from here, you just go ahead and go over to continue. Um, save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. Now, what this does, it is it allows any of your other Amazon devices, such as your Echo Show or your um, Echo Dot, um, easily connect to your Wi-Fi without you having to go in there and enter the password. It just gets the information from another Amazon device that's on the same network. So uh, to make my life easier, I'm going to select yes on that. So from there, you are pretty much all set. All you have to do is start downloading channels or apps. And we're just going to go through some apps right quick. So from the home screen, what you can do is just go ahead and hit the home button. And Amazon is going to have recommendations for you. Um, one thing I always do is I go over to the apps and I go over to categories and then I go over to movies and television. So once that loads up, uh, it's going to bring up a list of apps. And, you know, me being um, deep into court, I already know the free ones. So I know I'm going to add Tuba TV, um, which is already added. I know I'm going to add any other service. Now, just a quick a quick note for you guys um, any service like this 
where it says uh, TV package required, um, you're going to have to either already be signed up to an existing TV service or you're going to have to, as far as HBO Go, you're going to have to create an account um, and pay a monthly fee for that service. Um, I usually just look for free movies and TV. But we all know the big names like AMC, TNT, they're going to require a subscription. And it's going to say that in the title. Uh, free with TV subscription. So that is it, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you actually learned something. Hope this helped you on your core cutting journey. Um, stay tuned because I have some more videos coming out on the Fire Stick. We're going to get more into the apps and the the Bluetooth services that you can do with your Fire Stick, along with some other features. Uh, so stick around, folks.